Hi, I'm Heather McDougall. I'm an associate professor in the Department of History at the University of Waterloo. My field of research is in fact Canadian history of medicine with a specific interest in the history of Medicare and the history of epidemics and the ways you prevent epidemics through vaccination and immunization. The research project that I'm engaged in at the moment is a look at adoption and resistance against the measles, mumps and rubella vaccine which was introduced in Canada in 1963 and has actually become more contested um, over the years to the present, 2012. The problem that this research takes a look at is actually extremely interesting and that is how have public health professionals and parents interacted in discussing whether or not to immunize children at the age of uh, 12 to 15 months with the first dose of the measles, mumps and rubella vaccine. Originally this was viewed as a great uh, advance and it built on the success of vaccination against smallpox and immunization against polio that developed in the 1950s. Over the subsequent decades, however, what has happened is that more and more parents are questioning whether or not this particular vaccine is in fact necessary. So my research then is looking at how the message about the importance of vaccination has been communicated and why it's accepted by some and rejected by others. Today, of course, most people's first line of attack is to consult internet information. And because the internet is not a monitored form of uh, educational information, uh, much of the information provided comes from vaccine resistance groups. So as soon as you click on, um, most of the information that immediately appears comes from sources resisting or opposing the concept of vaccination and claiming that this is an infringement on bodily integrity and the individual's right to make choices for himself, herself, or their family members. The other aspect of all of this, of course, is that the medical profession and medical scientists, they have their own language and their own discourse, and they won't interrogate that. Um, so as historians, we're basically in the middle and able to say to both sides, this is what you're saying. This is what you are talking about. But you're actually talking past each other. Um, and our goal is to find out whether or not there is common ground for an honest dialogue about the risks and benefits. But I think perhaps the most innovative uh, thing that we're going to do uh, because of the approach that we're taking with our research we are going to um, use Envivo, which is a, a program to um, capture uh, information, and then we're going to create a web portal, and we will post um, our material there for comment by public health professionals, the public, and we rather expect um, people who oppose vaccine and vaccination rather, and would like to have their views known.